did a lot of research when I was deciding on which bassinet to get for George and I decided on the Soothing Motions bassinet because it's a nice price point. It's not quite as expensive as a lot of the ones out there, but it still comes with a lot of really cool features. To start off with, it's a nice size. It fits right here at the end of our bed and there's lots of room for us to walk around it. And it's also really nice and sturdy. So if you knock it or bang it, it really pretty much stays solid. It's got some nice weight to it, but the middle of it here is suspended. So it actually sort of jiggles around a little bit, which is really nice when he's fussing and kicking at night before he's calmed down to go to sleep. It kind of helps him to soothe down and eventually to go to sleep. So that's been really nice. Also, apparently that jiggling motion helps them to feel like they're in the womb still. So in the newborn stage, it's really nice. I enjoyed the mobile aspect of it. It's blue, so it goes with our theme. I like the elephants. There's the mirrors on the stars, which is kind of cool. The only thing I didn't like about the mobile part is George loved to watch it, but he liked it when it moves. And this one doesn't move on its own. You actually have to kind of touch it for it to move or else it'll stop moving. So there was many nights where I sort of and nap times where I kind of sat at the side of the bassinet in the dark sort of spinning it and spinning it and spinning it until he fell asleep because he really liked to watch it spin so I wish that it would have spinned on its own so that's definitely a downside if you find that annoying then that's something to take into consideration this is the sort of center electronic center of it this does come off which is nice so you can um if you're traveling you can bring it with you you know you can use the projection feature and the the noise features so I'll get right into on that note exactly what features it has so I'll kind of turn it on here there are seven plus the on off switch there are seven buttons there's regular lullabies there's some nature sounds volume up and down a project a projection which was nice it actually projects stars and moon uh, onto the ceiling when it's dark which is really great with the bassinet because the bassinet casts a shadow up there too which she loved to watch so the projection feature was great and then it has a night light and it also has a vibration setting so because it is suspended and jiggles when you turn on the vibration it just kind of lightly vibrates so that was really nice to use as well especially when he was a newborn now the one thing I will say about this bassinet is that all these features are wonderful especially the noise and the projection uh, the noise we really ended up using one in particular it was the water nature sound because it sounded the most like white noise and I actually didn't get a white noise machine specifically because I thought the bassinet would be enough but the problem with it is that it actually times out after a certain amount of time Time. I'm not 100% sure how long it was. I want to say somewhere around 20 to 40 minutes in that neighborhood. But what would happen would be he'd fall asleep with the noise on and then when it timed out it would shut off and that would wake him up. So that got really annoying. With the projection and the vibrations, I guess the hope would be that he fell asleep before it ran out. Sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't. So when he didn't, then we'd have to like really like make sure that we were on it to come in and sort of reset it before it shut off and like I said with the noise going off that was super annoying so I wish that it would have gone longer and actually I like the white noise that goes all night long so what I ended up doing is having to buy a completely different white noise machine in fact we actually had the laptop in here for the longest time playing a YouTube white noise channel because I needed the white noise to go on a lot longer than the bassinet played so that was a little bit annoying so if that's gonna bother you then you might want to give that a think about while I'm in the neighborhood of talking about white noise machines, I'll show you my white noise machine. So this is, oh, I'll take it off here. This is the Dream Egg white noise machine. So this one in particular is the travel size version. So you can take it with you. It's got a cool little clip. It clips onto a stroller or car seat or whatever. It has a, uh, I'll just turn it on for you really quick here. So that's the noise that we've chosen. It has a night light to see the nightlight a little bit that glows which is great when we are nursing in the middle of the night here i'll just turn it off so <laughs> i can talk uh when we're nursing in the middle of the night we haven't traveled yet because of course it's covid and we're stuck at home but when we do travel we always know we're gonna have a nightlight wherever we go which is great it does come with a timer so 30 60 or 90 minutes the timer would be a great option if that's what you're doing but i actually like to leave it on anytime he's sleeping there's white noise on so i keep it on continuous so i'm really happy that was of course the number one thing that i searched when i was searching for a white noise machine is that it was on continuous so it's on all the time when he's sleeping so he 
he knows when he hears the white noise, it's sleep time. It has a few different, I think there's nine different sounds on here. There might even be more. We actually only use one of the noises because it's the one he's used to and it's kind of the most generic. I guess we could play around with the different types, but it's got all kinds of nature sounds. It's even got like a heartbeat sound so that they feel like they're back in the womb. So lots of cool stuff on this. So anyways, love the dream egg. Super, super glad we got this and I feel like we're going to use it for a really long time. It seems really high quality and I'm glad I got it. So there's a tip for you. <laughs> if you're into the white noise, make sure that it plays all night if that's what you are planning on because not all of them do and this bassinet does not. Um, the other thing that it has, you'll notice on the bottom here, I'll just give it a little tip here. There's a sort of a little shelf thing here, which is just sort of an extra thing. I put a toy box on it. Um, you can fold stuff and put it on whatever you want, but it's just nice to have that little extra bit of storage. Also have a heating pad down here rolled up. So the heating pad is really nice when we're putting George down, especially when he was little. I put it on the, the bassinet mattress to kind of warm it up. And then when I put him down, it's a nice warm surface. So that's just a little tip that I've picked up that has really helped George to kind of enjoy his bassinet a little bit more especially when we were still rocking him to sleep yeah so overall that is the bassinet and like i said i really overall really really like it the one thing is the timing out thing so i did need to get an extra white noise machine the other thing is some people i was reading reviews online and some people were unsure about how to feel about all the different features it's nice to have them but you worry if the baby is going to start to rely on them to get to sleep when you move them over to bigger bed or a different bed then they won't have those features and hopefully they don't rely on them to get them to sleep so what i actually did was i used the features more when he was a newborn when we were just kind of trying to survive and we just picked different ones and try to figure out what works for him and then we found stuff that worked for him and we kind of kept that and then i slowly slowly kind of didn't use them as much and kind of moved away from them and uh we integrated more into just using white noise and less and less sort of sleep crutches if that's what you wanted to call it so just because you use them in the beginning is what i'm trying to say is not that you're gonna keep using them kind of thing so they're nice to get you through in the beginning when you're just in survival sleep deprived mode then you can phase them out as they get older so that's been really nice as well so that's my review on the bassinet super easy to put together as well i wanted to mention that really quick i did it when i was eight months pregnant by myself in probably about 15 minutes it just kind of clicks all together so i'm hoping it dismantles just as easily and i'll be using it again if we end up having another baby so thanks for watching and again subscribe if you want to see more click like if you like the video and i will see you guys in the next video thanks bye